for this opportunity. And then I'd like to thank the 37th district for sending me back and forth to Oregon for 22 years. I also would like to thank, and I didn't realize many people remember that I was at Pacific Northwest now, which is now Century Lee. And yes, we accomplished a lot of things in the legislature. But a lot also that's not in that and not in the legislature were things that helped drive me towards certain accomplishments. With P and B, after I got through playing ball, I was working in Olympia part time. I had gone, Sam Smith had, had me down for the session after the football season was over up in Canada and gave me a job as his committee clerk. And then he got into some back and forth with some of the members and everything, and they didn't want me, long story short, to stay for the special session. So he went down and talked to Lud Kramer, who was a Republican, and we were Democrats, and Lud put me on his staff, and then I went back up to play ball in Canada, and I got hurt again, and that was it. But long story short, uh, Vice President of Personnel at PNB asked Lud Kramer, could he talk to me about hiring me? And in those days, there was no affirmative action. Mm -hmm. There were no with me. Mm -hmm. And so my first <clears throat> real catch was that we set up, because the only people of color that worked for the telephone company at that time were operators. That's right. No linemen, no installers, mm -hmm. and anything else. And so they felt as though by getting me with a name, I could get my foot in the door in eastern Washington and all over this state, whereas the average person of color wouldn't have even got a, a, a chance to get in the door. And so before affirmative action, we were able to get these young people of color as seniors summer jobs, and if they succeeded, they'd have an opportunity to come on uh, as a beginning lineman or an installer. That was big yes. because that was all, all over this state. So that was a part that I was very happy about and proud of. The other part of it is that, yes, economic development, yes, Wimby, there's this other part that as economic development manager with P and B, I was able to accomplish a lot of things that you guys are doing now. And you'd think after 40 something years, <laughs> we wouldn't be there. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at least there were some people who were back then mm -hmm. trying to break ground. And I was on at the beginning of the Wimby, after the bill was passed, I was on the Wimby board. I also was past president of the Economic Development Executives of Washington. I was also past president of the Pacific Northwest Bell, the Pacific Northwest Industrial Development Council, mm -hmm. and a board member of uh, the Economic Development Partnership uh, of Washington, and sit on the executive committee of the Rainier Valley Enterprise uh, Center. So there were a lot of things that took place because I was able, as economic development manager with P&B, to 
have influence with the broader community and economic development to try to get them to get to those legislators in Olympia to make sure that we got contracts, that we got all the kinds of things we needed to be successful. And lastly, one of the first things that really got things going, we had the problem with construction. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And we had, to, we had one of the largest demonstration march on Olympia that they had had back in the early 60s because the building trades didn't want apprenticeship blacks in apprenticeship programs. Yes. We made it happen. Mm -hmm. So there were things along the way that not, does not fit on the, the tote board that we did. And we, we didn't do it by ourselves. We had to have a lot of help because that was during times when I had certain members of the Senate didn't want to ride the elevator with me. They'd see me and they'd go and walk down the stairs. They wouldn't sit at the same table with me in the dining room. So, uh, and one of the progresses that you see is that one of those guys, he and I, seven years later, were co-sponsors on a bill to make sure that minority got contracts with the Department of Transportation. Yes, sir. That's coming a long way. Yes, it is. And that takes a lot of work, just like with the Martin Luther King birthday bill. Mm -hmm. Took over 15 years to get that bill passed in the law for our holiday. And so it's very important for organizations like this, I appreciate your honor because this is something that was very important to me over the years. And here you are honoring me, the things that took place back then. And the good thing about it is I'm here to receive my yes. <laughs> a lot because you'll know what I'm talking about when I said this because there are people that come up to me all the time and says hey I really appreciate what you did I appreciate you getting that job this person that I hired at PNB vice president of CenturyLink uh, those things happen, but we we get a lot of help from a lot of people yes. if they're doing their job. Yes. But then you also have some of those, and they don't outweigh the good ones. That they say, "Hey, George, who?" Yes. Yes. And so when there are people that understand and recognize something that you've done for the good of all mm -hmm. and not me, you appreciate that. So thank you.